Hey y'all, and thank you for choosing the Dark Divine Feminine Tarot and Epiphanies. Of course, we know this tarot is for everybody in the Dark Divine Collective. Not just the feminine, but the masculine as well. And everyone and anybody who is enjoying the messages that they hear today. If you like what you hear, <laughs> like, subscribe. I will be here all the time. Like, we can do this all the time. So, we're going to jump right into it. I keep getting this energy of somebody wants to know why their masculine left them. Somebody was just broken up with. They are distraught. I'm literally hearing tears. And this person wants to know what the hell happened. Why did he leave? And we're about to look into that because it seems like it just was the last thing they expected him to do. So, we're about to jump into that right now this person had lost the passion this masculine had lost the passion for the relationship and it looks like we're about to jump into some hard truth so prepare yourself we had some cards jump out and choose us so we're gonna go ahead and read those because like i said i'm getting strong energy um and i think you might need to be prepared because already it looks like again there was a loss of passion I get the feeling you may have already known these things, but maybe this message is going to be a confirmation. Um, again, loss of passion. We see the volcano card in the reverse. Um, this person wasn't passionate at all. And there's something that happened that they had been angry about. He didn't even care to be angry anymore. Um, he kind of started to feel like maybe you just weren't as sweet or as innocent as he thought. He just didn't care to reactivate anything with his words. He didn't care to really continue the communication. Um, so he decided to try to move on. He decided to try to move on, right? He wanted to engineer himself a next level. Just kind of see what else might've been out there. Um, he didn't care to bully you. There was an issue where he was, so we see bully in reverse. There was an issue where he was kind of feeling like this masculine man was kind of feeling like, you know, We, yes, we definitely have a masculine. Maybe it could be feminine masculine or male masculine energy. He was definitely so angry with you about something that they just didn't care to be angry about it anymore. And they just left because they knew if they stayed, they were about to turn into a bully. And they chose not to do that. They didn't want to be in something where they were just being cruel to somebody. Um, the synergy that y'all once had, Right? That's somewhat still there. That level of synergy is emergence in the upright. That synergy that y'all once had is kind of still there, but nonetheless, emergence in the upright. This person was just kind of ready to do something else. Yes, y'all still have chemistry, but whatever this was that happened, this was not something that they felt they could get over. And for this reason, you know, you just see them kind of pulling away and kind of abruptly at that because they have become quite judgmental of you, to be completely honest. They judged you for what you did. And that's what that's what pulled them into a different direction. They chose to judge you for what you did. This person wasn't in a space to forgive. They were hurt. They were so hurt that they just kind of grew silent. They didn't ghost you or anything, but they grew silent. And whatever it is, they kind of ran them away. You know what it was. Um, because at one point, y'all were so in love. You see that Ace of Cups in the upright? Y'all were so in love. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, two of cups. Y'all were so in love at one point. I'm talking that best friend vibe. Um, this may actually be, a, I'm getting the vibe that this may actually be a lesbian couple. This may actually be a lesbian couple or a couple where the woman is more or less the dominant partner. Okay, so we see that dominance, but whoever was dominating this, this situation they didn't know everything. There was something they didn't know. We see the king of wands with his head to the side. He was not aware of some things. The masculine in this was not aware of some things. The masculine energy. Um, but they were bringing a lot to the table in terms of stability and finance. Like this was somebody that was really responsible financially. Get to work every day. You know, bringing something in the house. Paying bills. Keeping you satisfied. We see that nine of cups in the upright. Keeping you very much satisfied. And then shit just went left. Shit just went left. Everything blew up and it blew y'all's relationship up. I'm talking about threw y'all out into the street with y'all. It really blew y'all's relationship up really, really bad. 
And it sent the divine masculine energy in this relationship. It sent them packing. Like they were so upset. They were angry as hell about whatever it was they found out. They were so angry. They were so angry. And then y'all became a couple that fought all the time. From this Ace of Cups, Two of Cups energy we started with because of the deception. There were some things that you did not let, you didn't let, you didn't let them know early on. You didn't let your masculine energy know early on. Right? And they were putting so much into being a provider that when they found out this stuff that you didn't let them know about, oh, they were heated. And y'all became a couple that was just in consistent discord. Consistent discord. It's like things went downhill so fast. Things transformed. Do you hear me? Death card and upright. Things transformed. They transformed damn near overnight. Because when this masculine energy found this out, they were just done. Like they were so done. But still they had love for you. And y'all were still in the relationship. Even though they was like, I can't believe this shit. Y'all were still sitting there in the relationship. Y'all were still sitting there in the relationship. So the relationship, you see the death card in the four of wands. That relationship had been dead for some time. They were just still there. That's how the relationship had time for the passion to die out. It had time for um, even being angry died out. Like this person was just like, I am so fucking finished. Like this is where they were. This is where they were by the time this was all over with. Um, we're going to do just a few more cards. Spirit is their chance for reconciliation for this couple. Ten of Cups. Y'all were a very happy home and this person misses that. They really miss what y'all had. They really miss what y'all had. They really miss what y'all had. Y'all see this, the lovers? They really miss what y'all had. They miss giving to you. This person liked providing things for you. They liked providing you with wisdom. They liked paying bills with you. They loved everything that they were doing for you. They're a giver. This person was a giver. But you kept secrets. These secrets that you kept, this, this is some shit that they just, they really, they really can't believe it. You know, you kept the, you kept the ball in your court by not telling them certain things. And because of this, they have turned their back on the relationship. With all this energy still present, this person has turned their back on the relationship. Um, definitely hate readings that end like this. But like I said, this one actually found me. It was nagging me. Um, it's not one that was suggested or that I pulled cards for. It was just one that was nagging me. So somebody out there needed this message. Um, it is, it does seem that it very well may be time for you to move on and you want to at least give this three to nine months before you may even consider really hearing from this person again because this person is in deep, 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 deep despair about this and they need to heal. They don't even want to look at you right now. Um, you know, the relationship just ended poorly. Um, and what I'm seeing from you is that you're just, in, you're in shock. You're just in shock. Like, I just can't believe that this is where it all ended up. Um, obviously, we know that prayer changes, spirit changes, healing changes. So, you know, things do change. This may not be the final, final, final for this relationship. You just never know. Things have their way of changing. So you want to always stay optimistic, continue to heal, continue to live your life. Again, if it's something that does not resonate with you, obviously, you will want to just <laughs> look at a different one of my videos okay um but in the meantime if you got some level of healing and clarity from what you heard today please be sure to like and subscribe um and yeah i will be here all the time we can do this all the time and i'll be more than happy to catch y'all in the next one later